Hello guys, uh, today I am going to be showing you a tutorial how to make a aggressive mob uh, that's very similar to how zombies, spiders, and other things work. Uh, when they actually touch the player, they give the player damage. So what we're going to do is, I've already imported a texture for a evil, uh, evil villager, which lo looks like a retextured illager a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and jump in to our creating our mob. So I'm going to go mob and then type uh, evil villager and then we're going to create next. We're going to select our UV map. So I'm going to select villager and then what we're going to do is call it evil villager and we're going to select our evil villager texture. Uh, we're going to also change the color of the egg so we can easily find it. So we're going to select that one and maybe a brown of some type, so maybe that color. And uh, that's all we need to do here. And then what we're going to go over here and we're going to leave it at mob because uh, the mob aggression is, uh, this is basically the behavioral, behavioral properties. So mob is like things like uh, zombies, spiders, stuff like that. Creatures are um, basically like pigs, sheep, stuff like that. And then water and mo water mob is basically uh, like squids. And I think at 1.12 or 1. Point, no, it would be 1.13 fish were added. So um, that would be the water mob area. So. Uh, we're going to select mobbed, uh, we're going to uh, leave this undefined, most cases you won't need to select this, um, however some properties like illagers, uh, you, if you're creating an illager you might want to select that, we're just going to leave it undefined and I'm going to also select the drops that it will produce, so because it's a kind of like an illager I'm going to select emeralds and Let's see here, we could always do, uh, an enchantment book maybe, or, uh, is there one, it doesn't look like there's one for any disc, so we'll be able to drop that. Uh, we could drop something like a bone, you never know. So maybe a bone, and then we want to select our sounds. So we want to scroll down until we reach um, entity, illager, and we're going to select ambient. Actually, we could set um, uh, yeah, we'll set it to ambient and then hurt so we'll scroll down until we hit um, where is it illager 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 and hurt and then death so we want to scroll down until we find death. So that one. Okay, so our sounds are set up and then we click next. If you want to add particle effects, you can do that. Um, now one thing that we're going to need to set up is uh, when player collides with this mob, we're going to select this, we're going to create a new procedure. We're going to go to entity, deal damage, and leave it to one. This will deal half a heart. And what this will do is basically if the player collides with the mob, then it'll deal half a heart. So that part set up. Uh, we're going to go next. And now what we want to do is set up the AI. So uh, we're going to actually need to get rid of some things. Uh, first thing that I'm going to get rid of is this panic when attacked. We don't need that. We don't need to leap at target uh, with direct with speed factor. So we can delete that. Uh, we need these three things and we also want that up there. So we want it to break doors. Um, zombies can break doors so I figure we'll put that at the top here. This is optional. And then we want to attack targets so this is important to make it aggressive. We're actually going to go back into combat 
and we're going to add um, attack with melee factor and we're going to set this to one and if you want it to continue after losing sight you can actually check this box here and it will continue to follow just a little bit until they uh, lose sight of the player or whatever and we also want to select what kind of entity that we're going to be chasing so we're going to actually select player and uh, that should be fine like it is um, now if you're running into uh, problems on multiplayer what you can do is add another one and select uh, player MP and that should work on multiplayer as well um, I can't see why it wouldn't work with just an, a regular entity player so so if you run into any problems with multiplayer then uh, you can try adding the uh, player MP and then continuing on uh, now the next thing that you want to do is add target and then add um, follow same mob with speed and then add uh, this to your thing just under the attack in sight. Uh, what this will do is make the mob basically follow other mobs of the same type at a certain speed and a, with a maximum range of whatever and a follow area of um, five so uh, they'll kind of pace each other and they won't just all charge at the same time uh, at different speeds so this is actually really handy if you want to synchronize a group of them and the last thing that you want to do is make them wander around look around and swim in water so this will enable them to just you know walk around and stuff like that kind of search for targets and uh, look around will basically just give them some extra AI animation to them so they look like they're observing a little bit and uh, swim in water makes them so they don't sink so that's quite important too so basically all that's happening is their main priority is to break doors if they can't find doors then they're just going to um, move on to wandering and look around and all this stuff so that will basically um, be the gist of it but if they also see a target then all these things will kick in right here so this will be a higher priority than obviously um, wandering and looking around so once you got that all set up what you want to do is click next uh, you want to set the properties um, we're going to leave this at uh, we're going to actually bring it down to 10 we're going to set monster uh, because we want them to spawn in caves and in the dark. If it's creature, then they spawn on the surface. If it's ambient, they spawn in the air. And if it's uh, water, then they spawn in the ground. Or not ground, but like in the uh, water itself. So we want caves and stuff, so we'll set that there. Uh, we want it to be about th maybe one, two, I would say no more than five per group. Uh, you want to play with this spawning probability if it's too much though. Click save element and then what you want to do is hop in game after it's finished um, compiling and then we'll test out our entity. Alright so we're in a brand new world. I'm just going to first test if uh, they can break doors and stuff. So we're going to build a room like this and we're gonna see if we can't get them to bust down the door because that's actually at the top of their AI setting. And I'm just going to build this. A little shelter like that. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. A lot of you might already know that I'm a pretty good builder when it comes to uh, working. This is actually nothing. It takes no effort to do. So um, I'm going to select a wooden door just to test this theory out. And we're going to select that. Uh, we're going to grab our mob itself. 
and we're gonna place it down. Okay, he's obviously going a really fast. Um, not sure why he did that. Just kind of looking down like that. Okay, so the the speed might be too much. Oh, let's. <laughs> that is kind of hilarious watching his head bobble like that, but uh, that's obviously not what we needed. So let's uh, hop out and we'll adjust the um, speed just a little bit. So attack, um, that could be why we wanted it to be 0 0.8. Um, 8 being a little bit too fast obviously. So uh, wander with a uh, speed of 8, so we want 0 0.8 as well. And uh, maximum speed factor of one so that should be fine so make sure to do 0 0.8 not 0 or 8 because having that it will set it a little bit too high and uh, we'll just start up the world again and see if he uh, actually takes down that door I think his AI was a little bit uh, needing an upgrade so let's uh, try this again Hopefully he will want to uh, bust down that door now. He doesn't seem to be aggroed at the door, honestly. Okay. So let's uh, game mode zero. And try breaking that. Okay, it doesn't seem to be too aggroed, which is weird. But he does get aggroed with um, punch him. So um, let's try to get away a little bit. Obviously, jumping into the water might have not been a good idea. We'll wait until he starts looking around. There we go. Okay. So let's see if he starts coming towards us. And if he does. He does get aggroed. So, it, you might want to increase the, um, the, uh, view properties a little bit more. Um, for example, uh, let's see, follow. Might want to adjust this a little bit or have them uh, basically target and watch closely. This might be an alternative to fix it. So you can set this to like 10 and then set this to player. Uh, but outside of that, that's all I have time for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down to below. Down below. I'm not sure why they're actually not breaking doors, so uh, that might be a bug. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.